It is a true pleasure to be here tonight and to introduce to you a real recipient of the Deming Cup. I really can't think of no better person to receive it tonight, and I hope that after my few remarks you will follow me with that judgment. Ratan, I've gotten to know because he's a member of the Alcoa board, and we consider ourselves extremely lucky to have him. And I'll tell you why. Ratan has been educated as an architect. And I think that says a lot, Ratan, about you. You chose that, and you chose it, I think, wisely. Because what really marks the great architect? A great architect dreams first. A great architect sees things at a field, in the rubbles, before they emerge from it and make us see the beauty of it. A great architect has a creative vision, but at the same time, the capabilities to compromise and find the way to getting something done. A great architect has a perspective, a perspective in many ways, a capability to envision something in the 3D space, but also the understanding that an architect leaves something behind, as this rotunda so well speaks for itself. That alone, I think, says a lot about you, but you add to it an unbelievable flexibility of intellect, unbelievable flexibility of intellect, and a combination of this gigantic big picture and at the same time this enormous drive for understanding the big picture down to the very, very detail. And I can say that as a CEO of a company that Ratan sits on the board. A smart capability of debottlenecking and execution, I'll talk about that, and really a perspective, a global perspective. But global perspective has become such a word used so often. The global perspective that Ratan has is a very unique perspective because a perspective that brings together an understanding of the developing world, a true understanding of the developing world, and at the same time a deep understanding of the world that most of us live in, the developed world. And bringing these two things together in a very unique way while toggling intellectually back and forth and kind of merging it to come up with something that nobody else would be coming up with. And I would really say that if one word describes this all, what I've just been saying is, I would say that there are very few people who deserve the term of a true global visionary. A true global visionary. Let me go to another perspective here, the execution part. Because as I said, I mean, as an architect, he also has the capability to make his dreams come true. And that's what he does. And uh, Ratan had, took an old idea, I must say, I would say, Ratan, I hope you forgive me, and you made it into a new idea. You wanted to build the new Volkswagen. You basically said, I want the Volkswagen for the developing world. And then you put out a price tag, $2,500. And everybody who's in the industry said, hey, there's a crazy man in India, we don't really think much of him, he will never succeed. And I still remember conversations around the board meetings where Ratan spoke about the idea of what to leave out instead of what to add, right? What to leave out. And I remember the discussion with Ratan saying, this car will only have one windshield wiper because the windshield wiper costs so and so much, I don't need to, and it will work with one. And this is the amount of detail he goes into. But he didn't stop there. And the project that's a little less well known here in the West, but very, very well known in the impact, and I think probably an equally, if not stronger, impact is your ACE project, the mini truck for $5,000. And this is basically the most important last mile transportation medium that's used in many, many of those developing countries. It's an alternative for a rickshaw, and it is also an enabler, I would say, for small business for people that come out of, out of a, a job being employed and go into an entrepreneurial job. Execution, right? Then came the time, Ratan, and Henry just referred to it, when you started to step into the large shoes uh, that your predecessor had left you. In 1993, you became the chairman of Tata Steel and refocused the company immediately 
to a look at the global competitiveness, right, which it wasn't focused on before. And then you responded also to the global consolidation in this industry the moment this opportunity came up. In 2007, you acquired Chorus Steel. And today, Rata, Ratan, your company, Tata Steel, is in the global top 10 in the steel industry. That alone is a great achievement. But it didn't stop there. Now you had, I mean, tasted the sweet taste of globalization and you went after the automotive firms because that's another passion of yours, I know, uh, and, and of many of us here. And you went after Jaguar and Land Rover. At 2008, 2009, 2008, 2009, if you may remember, and some of you are, are, are in business at that time, that wasn't quite exactly the time when people were bullish, right? And, <laughs> and Ratan, Ratan, you went, went after it, you acquired it from Ford, and then you made sure that your vision again came true, and I know that there was a lot of negotiations also after it. You put a team in place that was able to execute your vision and look at what we have today. We have a brand new product range with Jaguar and Land Rover, very successful, a great turnaround. I take my hat off to it, I take my hat off to it, it's, it's fantastic. All of this, Ratan does with the clear principle that join us all here in the room tonight, the Deming principles, because he's truly, he's truly a fan of the Deming principles. He's truly a believer of business excellence, and Ratan put together the Tata business excellence model, which has a thousand point scale, and every one of the businesses is basically evaluated along that scale. It's basically modeled after the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award here and measures competitiveness, global competitiveness. That already could conclude my remarks, but I cannot close without mentioning probably to me the most important aspect of you, Ratan, and that's your values. And they stand out totally unmatched, I would say. Unmatched particularly already on a Western scale unmatched absolutely on an absolute scale in the environment that you very often had to work in. And I've heard you describe some of the challenges that were you were put in, and when you describe it, one truly senses your deep conviction that you know where the true north is and that you don't want to compromise on it. It comes along with the full package. I dream of the days when businessmen were known and had the trust in society where the word of a businessman was a contract. And that man stands here and is here tonight with Ratan. And Ratan, you also see your role in society. Henry remarked to it. But you see it in various layers. And I would say the most, most basic layer is your conviction of every man can make it to something if you g give the person education. And education is the, the gift of knowledge and you have put a lot of time into it. I know that you have programs around, I mean, uh, like the TCS adult literary program, basically having trained already 200,000 Indians, basic reading, you reach this out to other places outside of India, Burkina Faso, South Africa. For me, it was a, a, a very uh, marking moment when we as Alcoa decided to build a large aluminum system in Saudi Arabia. And we discussed that in the board and we hadn't even made a decision. And one of the concerns we all had, and there's a whole group of our directors here tonight that, that that know very well this discussion, how will we ever be able to educate people that are not used to work in industrial environments? And Ratan, you took me aside at the next break and you said, Klaus, you know that you will have to invest in education. And I said, yes, I do. He said, Klaus, I want to be by your side. And even though I don't have anything in Saudi Arabia, I believe that education is the most important thing we can give to any region. That's the man you have here tonight, so let me sum that up. Ratan's vision, Ratan's execution, his values have transformed the Tata Group into an organization that truly embodies the Deming principles. Your leadership, Ratan, your commitment to excellence, 
make you, in my view, a very, very good, excellent recipient of today's awards. So let me bring this man up, Ratan. Please come on up. <laughs>